kitchen in the kitchen with Lucy Bell. Hey, everybody. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Yes, Christmas season. Well, I won't consider it over until we've gone through New Year's. And this is a little early, but we're getting ready for the new year. And I cannot wait. Before we start today, we've got to have a cocktail. This is going to be a sparkling cranberry. <laughs> Woo! That must have been a good year. So we'll put us a little champagne in our flute. Whoop, don't go over, don't go over. Perfect. A little cranberry. And we will top it off with a little more champagne. Mmm, so good. Good way to drink cranberry. Mmm. Let me top that off again. Okay, well, what I want to show you guys today is how to make some good old mac and cheese. Oh, yes, I love mac and cheese. I've eaten it all my life, ever since I was a little bitty thing. We've got our water boiling here. All we need is elbow macaroni. We'll use eight ounces. Two cups of straight cheese of any kind. I like cheddar, sharp cheddar. A cup of milk and two tablespoons of flour. And some butter for rimming the dish here. So we will start by eight ounces of macaroni into your boiling water. And we're just gonna let that cook according to the instructions on the back of the box, which is usually boil for about, oh, eight to 10 minutes. Okay, now the pasta is done, so we're going to Drain the water off the pasta. Just dump the pasta right into the butter dish, like so. Add a little pepper, a little salt. And now we're going to whisk our flour into the milk. Just mix it up real good. And you want it to come up to about right the top of your macaroni, just perfect. You see? Now we'll add the cheese, and it is about two cups of shredded cheese. Now you can use any cheese with this. Mix it up really good. Now it's time just to slide it into the oven, and it will bake now for 30 to 40 minutes on 375. And while that's cooking, why don't we look into some New Year's traditions? I know one tradition I have all the time is that um, we always have black eyed peas. That always brings you good luck every year. Some people say, well, probably didn't bring you too much good luck this year. It's like, well, I don't know. I didn't get COVID. So I think that's pretty fucking lucky. I mean, pretty darn lucky. In Spain, they eat 12 grapes at midnight, one for each month. And you eat one every time the bell tolls on midnight. And that will bring you good luck. In Denmark, they throw old plates and glasses at friends and loved ones that you have door to ward off all evil spirits. Well, I don't know if that's gonna work in Beaver Pond because most of my bottles are plastic, my plates are paper, my cups are plastic. So I guess I'm gonna have to go out and give me some glass cups and plates. Cause I know a few people I'd like to throw at their door at these. So let's get our mittens on. And let's see how the mac and cheese turned out. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. And like I said, you can use any cheese with this as long as you've got two cups of cheese. My bitch for the week this week is I cannot wait for 2020 to be over. Oh, it cannot end soon enough. So let's toast to the end of 2020 and to a new 2021. Happy New Year, everybody.